Plug-in vehicle sales, electric vehicle sales, went absolutely crazy in the UK in June. The thing is, right, there was a huge stock shortage of Tesla vehicles coming to Europe, in particular going to the UK in June, and yet still the Tesla Model Y took second place of any type of vehicle period for that month. Considering the incredible high price of Tesla Model Ys in the UK right now, frankly, I'm shocked. I'm Demand is out there, especially for Tesla vehicles right now. Hello, my friends. As you can see, I'm a little bit tired. It's 2 a.m. in the morning and um, been at a wedding today this morning. It started at 10 a.m. and uh, I had about two hours sleep. So forgive my yawning. Anyhow, this is exciting news. Really exciting. The market in Europe is just completely changing. You know all these new rules, right? Where they're saying 2035, you're going to ban cars that are not electric in Europe. You know, 2030. Emissions limits on vehicles in Europe will be so stringent that, you know, it'll be extremely difficult to sell a car. I mean, CO2 emissions have to decrease by a further 50, I think it's about 50 to 60% by 2030 versus where they are now. That's extremely difficult to do. So, I see this ban as being a, basically a ban on internal combustion engine vehicles in 2030. Virtually, essentially, that's what it is. The media is not aware of that because they have no idea what's going on. So they're telling you 2035, but the reality is it's really 2030. However, it's really a moot point. We're already there. We're already there. All we need in the UK in particular, in Europe as well, but in the UK in particular, all we need is supply. Why do I say that? Well, I just made a video, which you need to see. It says... 100% of people surveyed in the UK, it was 1,000 surveyed. 100% want to go EV for the next car. 100%. That is that is insane. And the crazy thing is that in 2011, 1%. 1% said they wanted an EV. All right? In 2015, four years later, 2% said they wanted an EV. Seven years later, we went from 2% to 100%. That is disruption. Now, the market is just saying, give us the freaking cars. Come on, please. Automakers, bring them now. Anyway, let's have a look at the actual numbers. UK plug-in EVs took a share of 22%. The Tesla Model Y was the runner-up in the market in the UK period, regardless of powertrain type. June. Plug-in vehicles took 21.6% market share in the UK, up from 17.2%. This despite a temporary shortfall stemming from pauses at Tesla Shanghai. Overall auto volumes were 141,000 units. That's the weakest June since 1996. The Tesla Model Y was the best-selling plug-in in June and the second best-selling vehicle of any powertrain. So aside from electric vehicles, Hybrids took 28% of the market, petrol 44%, diesel only 5%. Um, diesel vehicle sales are just crashing, right? Absolutely crashing. And there's a lot of people that are still talking about diesel this, diesel that, great diesel. I've got a diesel, just about to get rid of it, as you all know, to make way for the new electric car, new electric cars in the future. And you know what? They're overrated. You know why? Because they kill you. Seriously, they cause cancer. So, you know, they're not really that good. And I think that's one of the key reasons why people in Europe are not buying them anymore. I mean, it makes sense. Now, June's overall plug-in result of 22% comprised 16% fully electric vehicles, 5.5% plug-in hybrids. This compares to respective shares of 10.7% and 6.5%. So as you can see, electric vehicles have gone from being 10.7% of the market to 16.1%. That's a pretty big change. Tesla's recent temporary Shanghai shutdowns put a big dent in the company's European delivery volumes in June relative to its recent trends. Despite the Model Y's decent placing, Tesla's June UK volume was actually just 43% of March's volume, a shortfall of 7,000 units. One of the key reasons for that, 78,000 cars that Tesla manufactured in the month of June went to where? China. Why? Too much demand. <laughs> so without this, without this temporary Tesla down blip, June's UK results would have been around 20% fully electric vehicle share and 25% plug-in vehicles. 
Model Y would have easily taken the top spot. It was only 820 units short, even with the headwinds. Things should go back on trend by September. In other words, the Tesla Model Y will be the most popular vehicle in the UK, more than likely, for every month from September onwards for the rest of the year. September, October, November, December. Now, Dr. Maximilian Holland said that plugless hybrids, both traditional and mild hybrids, have grown greatly in 2020 and in the first half of 2021, but they've been flat over the past 12 months, oscillating around 28% share. Right now, they're at 28.7% from 28.3% last year. These are obviously less polluting, roughly 15 to 25%, than combustion engine-only powertrains. But as the UK now moves quickly towards plug-ins and eventually full electric vehicles, plugless hybrids will be looked back on as a temporary transition technology, innovative in 1997, but much less so in 2022, and are likely now near their peak in this market. All right, whenever I think of a plug-in hybrid, or a hybrid in particular, plug-in hybrids are not too bad, but in particular a hybrid, I just think, imagine having a phone and it, <laughs> having an engine in there. I mean, that's what it's like, right? That's like having an engine and a battery and just carrying around two different powertrains. Yeah. It's as stupid as Toyota's marketing nonsense where they claim that their hybrids are self-propelling, self-charging, self-charging. <laughs> okay, thanks. Anyway, combined combustion only share dropped by 5% year on year from 55 percent to 49 percent diesel passenger vehicle new sales in the uk are on trend to dwindle to under two percent in a few years from now they'll be dead by 2025 diesel in the uk well actually globally you finished but in the uk in particular you finished pretty soon it, what i'm saying is don't be a douche and buy a diesel and i when i say don't be a douche i mean number one why why breathe that stuff and why pollute the atmosphere number one right number two why buy something that's going to depreciate like a rock? It's like throwing a rock, a massive rock in the water. It's just going to drop like a stone. Depreciation will crash once, right? Once this market has access to more cars. And there's so many factories being built right now. So many battery factories being built right now. The UK, they're just crying out for EVs. They're crying out for them. Within a couple of years, they'll get them. And then what do you think is going to happen to your beloved diesel? It's going to be worth nothing. So don't do it because you're going to lose you're going to lose mountains of money and you're going to feel like an idiot. So that's my advice. Leading electric vehicle brands. That's why Tesla having a relatively off month and quarter is still clearly led the UK brand rankings thanks to strong volumes of the Model Y in June compared to other electric cars. Tesla took 25% electric vehicle share down from 33.6% in March. So as you can see Tesla is dominating the UK electric vehicle market. I still see the comments everywhere saying how um, Tesla's being crushed by Volkswagen in, in Europe. I'm like, what? Where do you get this information from? Who, who, who gives you this stuff? Anyway, second place, Kia, 9%. MG, 7.8%. I mean, look at that, MG, 7.8%. Man, imagine when they get the MG4 over there. Guys, MG4, by the way, that looks like a real winner. So you guys in the UK, lucky you, you're going to be getting that, that vehicle very soon which I think it's going to be priced really well as well. Vauxhall, 6.5%. Hyundai, 5.7%. Volkswagen, a mediocre 53 I thought they were ramping up. Are they going to catch Tesla in 2024? Yeah, sure thing. Dang, look at this number. It doesn't support, doesn't support what Bloomberg NEF got paid to print about Volkswagen. Who paid them, by the way? I want to know who paid them. Can someone tell me that Volkswagen is going to overtake Tesla in 2024, when even Herbert Deese himself said it wouldn't happen, couldn't even happen possibly until 2026 at the earliest. Come on. Anyway, BMW 5.2, Audi 5, Mercedes 3.5, Peugeot 3.2, Fiat 2.9, Nissan 2.5, Pulsar 2.5, Citroen 2.2, Renault 2.1, Skoda 2.1, Cooper 2, Jaguar 1.8, Porsche 1.5, and Mini 1.2. And what I believe is that, you know, I'm saying, right, that the UK is going to get all these new EVs, which you are. I know it's hard to be patient. Modern society doesn't like delayed gratification. We just like to go out and spend and just just consume straight away. Give me what I want now. No, 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 no. Unfortunately, well, actually, fortunately, you're being forced to learn delayed gratification here. And that's a good thing. It's good for you. Good for me. It's good for our kids. Good for everyone. But not so good for the environment. It'd be better if we we're all driving EVs right now. Anyhow, my point here is what will happen here is the majority of these manufacturers will be replaced by 
Chinese automotive brands. Don't believe me. Watch my video where I just showed you what's happening right now. June's automotive sales worldwide EVs. 16 of the top 25 in the world were Chinese brands. Of the rest of those, the other nine, well, three quarters of those, half their EVs are made in China. In other words, most of the EVs in the world right now are being manufactured in China by Chinese car companies or by Tesla. Month to month, electric vehicle rankings can be erratic depending on temporary allocation decisions, says Dr. Maximilian, I should say, and Tesla's international shipping logistics always give it an outsized end of quarter. Let's have a look at a three month view. Tesla in first place with 11.5%, Kia with eight, Hyundai with 7.5, BMW 7.5, Volkswagen 6.5, Vauxhall 6.2 and MG6. So as you can see, Volkswagen is not even in the rankings of Kia and Hyundai. Um, what were they going to do again? What were they going to do? What was? What are people saying? What are they going to do? Beat Tesla in 2024. Yeah. Relative to Q1 2022, brand rankings one and two were unchanged in the most recent quarter, Tesla and Kia. This is despite Tesla Shanghai's pauses halving its quarterly UK electric vehicle share from 25% to 11%. A few brands had decent climbs in Q2 over Q1. Hyundai up two spots from fifth to third. BMW up two spots from sixth to fourth. Vauxhall up three spots from ninth to sixth. And Citroen up nine spots from 21st to 12th. What about Volkswagen? They dropped two spots from third to fifth. Mercedes dropped five from fourth to ninth. Nissan dropped three from 11th to 14th. And Ford dropped five spots from 14th to 19th. I think there's a pretty good chance that same quarter, same month next year, we're going to see real domination from a combination mostly tesla but also a rise up the ranks from companies like mg but let me know if you agree or you disagree in the comment section below now first question for you i have is is it possible in your mind that volkswagen could actually surpass tesla in 2024 when it comes to electric vehicle production now don't go and i'm not asking you how you feel about it i'm asking how you think about it like logically on a completely logical level, do you think it's mathematically possible on a logical production level, how many factories they've got, what they're producing now, can they ramp it to that level within the space of two and a half years? Is that realistic? Or am I just being, um, you know, am I just being a Tesla fanboy? Let me know what you think in the comments section below.